Welcome back to the podcast, everyone. I'm Will, and I'm joined by my co-host over here, the Grease. Say hello, Grease. If you're listening, watching, or, ro- or winking, I want you to hit the thumbs up on whatever platform you are. Hit a five star. Hit a review. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs down. I don't care. Will does, but I don't. Welcome to the podcast, everybody. My name yeah. is Grease. Good so to hear you. We are going to talk a little bit about some of the adventures we've been on. Oh. Uh, because you were gone for, I think, three weeks in a row, something like that. I don't know. And then uh, I was gone. I was gone Friday to the week after two Sunday. And half, two and a half weeks. Just shy of two weeks, two days. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a solid, solid getaway for you. We'll that talk a awesome. lot about that. And then my wife and I did a little anniversary trip, a little quick getaway that I referenced on here that we uh, you had a quickie, huh? <laughs> yeah, we did, uh, and maybe a couple of glasses of wine. Decided to on a on a random whim buy tickets to Puerto Rico. And- There's no way y'all just had two glasses of wine. That was pregame. A couple of bottles of wine. I don't know. We did it. Samantha's like, do you got any of that midwinters? Yeah. <laughs> I think we're fresh out of that. <laughs> yeah, uh, she, she took it down. So, we, uh, yeah, we're just going to talk a little bit about what we've done, where we've been, some of the adventures we've been into, kind of catch up. Because I haven't heard a ton of what Grease did, and he hadn't heard a ton of what I did, and we kind of kept it that way on purpose, so we'd have a little trip report action. And so that's what we're going to get into. But you were gone the longest and have the most to say, so we should probably start with you. Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, we, we traveled down to see family, and we were staying at Lauren's mom and stepdad's, who's on the canal at Mexico Beach. So... Um, this is who you always go fishing with, and yeah. we always give you a hard time. This is when you drank the uh, Rebel fighting y- cock or Rebel, ye- Rebel, Rebel yell. yell on the boat and uh, had a wonderful day. This is the guy who you didn't catch the shark with. All all of the great fishing stories of the Grease come out of this, this annual retreat. 100%. Yeah. 100%. So um, we went down there, and obviously... You had fun at the pool and the beach and all that stuff, but we would go, we went out fishing three times. Yeah. And which normally y'all just go out once, right? Like, I feel like y'all went, well, a we lot were there, we were there for 12 days yeah. out of the 16. Got it. You know, so you had a little bit more uh, disposable time. Yeah. So uh, we went out there and the first trip we went out on my father in law's boat. We went out there. We snagged a um, huge, Red snapper. Mm-hmm. And guy's reeling it in. I, I wasn't bringing this one in, but the guy was bringing that, that one in. And the um, and the line gets what he thinks is hung. Uh-huh. And so we think it's a shark, too. So he's sitting there trying to break the line. Always a shark. Right. Oh, yeah. He's trying to break the line. Then all of a sudden, it just comes up. There was a red grouper that came up and struck this bait about six feet off the the bottom, and yeah. they have these holes, and he just darted back in. Oh, hole. yeah. So there's this huge hit, and they try to get it, and it's already lodged down. And like, it's like, you're it's not like, coming up. Good luck getting me out of here. Yeah. Well, we got him out, and we thought it was a shark, but then all of a sudden, this thing's fighting weird, mm-hmm. like flapping. Weird. We bring it up in here, and dude, it is a 30 pound. Red grouper. Yeah. Massive dude. The eyes are poking out because he, we were in 170 feet of water. Yeah. You brought him up too quick. Yeah. A, yeah, 30, the a 30 pound, you know what? I'd take a 30 pound grouper over a 30 pound red snapper any day. Red snapper's going to fight you the whole way. Grouper gives up halfway. He's just like, oh, hell, fine. Oh, so it's you like, like me. The, you like the fight to end. <laughs> oh, Grease, you're kind of the rock bass. Of no, the no, I don't like the fight to end. You I'm just, just saying that's it. <laughs> Well, no, but it's no. I said it's hilarious. Uh, yeah, it's hila- like they get halfway and they're like, uh, "I'm good." Yeah, and then that's when they get eaten by a shark. Right. Um, we had and the tax man. I had really called tax we had man. Two f- snappers get eaten by sharks. One of them, the head, w- the it was just a the little head. Yeah, he was like, "Throw that bait down. Throw that red snapper down in there." Red snapper love red snappers. So I was today years old when I learned that fish cannibalism exists. Really. No, there's different species that eat each other. Fish eat their own fish all the time. Seriously? Oh, yeah, man. Oh, I mean, if you're hungry, you're hungry. 
No, that's uh, hangry. My if the best is like right after uh, bass spawning season. If you'll catch like a little bass and you'll see a larger bass coming after oh, it, trying yeah, to eat yeah, it. Yeah, I've I know I've known yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, that's also cannibalism. Anyway, they they said throw that fish head down there and see what you get. I get a hit. I bring it up. It's another red snapper, but the red snapper is inside the head of the other snapper. Mm-hmm. So it's it's it. So you just pick it up and it looks trippy. like it had a helmet on. Right. That was great. Um, tons of sharks this year. Like we didn't bring them up, obviously, or I'd have had pictures and video, and y'all would give me <laughs> hell about it. But there, I no. Mean, if you actually brought them up, we would have not. You know, we'd been like, "Good for you, dude." Dolphin are so smart. This dolphin followed us for probably five miles. Yeah, just waiting for the scraps. And we, yeah. And so there was there was one fish that swallowed the hook. We tried to get it out as quick as we could. Didn't recover. We put it in the water. And it was floating out, and that dolphin comes up right to it and literally just pokes his head out of the water and looks at it. It was incredible. Sitting there for probably 10 seconds, just yeah. staring at it, making sure there's no like ripple or weird thing happening with it. And then it comes up and just very gently grabs the fish and <laughs> takes it down. Come with me. Yeah. It's hilarious. It was. It, I mean, it's so smart. If you're if you're wanting to make sure there's not a hook on that thing, right? Or there's not a flat line, it literally just clamped down a little bit softly and kind of pulled it down a little bit. Yeah. It was, there it you was go. Nothing tugged on it. So he was like, "Hey, Dave, baby, right. weekly paycheck right there." Yeah. Um, but yeah, the tax man this year was rough. It was. I mean, they were just everywhere, just breaking breaking whole lines. I feel like there's been sharks everywhere. If you watch the news, there's like they're all over the dude, place. Dude, yeah, I mean, they're uh, right up on the shore. You going can't after shoot people. them in the head. Yeah, can't do it legally. Yeah, environmentalists will get. I've on seen you. some of these people. They have these called bang sticks. Yeah, they're this long stick, and then there's a shotgun, a shotgun shell, shell, shell at the very bottom, and you just stick it on somebody and pow, not on somebody. somebody. No, 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 shark. Right, a shark. Idiot. <laughs> Jeez. When Grease puts his bang stick on somebody. Oh, gee. <laughs> yeah. It's a thing that happens. Bang. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? Shout out to Matt Porter. Matt Madness. I, I think people got the reference. Well, no. I just, They're watching I just here, wanted man. to fill the drinking game. Oh. There you go. Oh, man. Oh, oh, because you said Matt Madness. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Drink. Drink. Um, yeah. Buffalo. So, so you had that big, you caught a big old snapper that got bit in half. Yeah, it got bit in half. The head was, the, well, the half of the body was still, it was like 12, 13 pounds. Uh-huh. So we, we thought that that was going to be about a 28-pounder probably. And you still kept it? Yeah, we did because it was still legal. No, I get that, but I mean, it's it was still, kinda, still past 16 inches I mean, just with half of it. You kind of bacteria is in the shark's mouth and... When you cook it. Right, but I don't know. What do you think they're swimming in? They're literally swimming in their feces all day, every day. And the ocean is larger than a shark biting it right off and then you picking it up. I don't know. There's something about it to Salt me. water cleansed it. I don't know. No, there's still bacteria You in cook it. 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 This is a no. I don't even know why you're arguing this. I'm not. This, I'm just saying. No, you're arguing it and it's not going to pan out for you because it's false. It's wrong. Mm-hmm. You're in a weird mood. No, you. What's going to happen is you're going to get another hit of Botox, and it's going to react to something that you ingested from the uh, the snapper body that was in the shark's mouth, and you're going to get uh, Bell's palsy from it. Yeah, I can already see it coming on. Oh man, it's a good forehead. <laughs> Wife did a good job this round. <laughs> Freaking artist. It's fifty Probably fifty. With makes you. me want to make out with her. I bet you will. Like. All right. So, any other any other fun right, fishing well, stories? Uh, fishing stories, wise? yeah, or, or anything else? You said you did a little bourbon hunting down there, right? Uh, well, we had an engine go bad on another guy's boat. Nice. We did have that Solid. happen. Was it a battery situation, or it flood the engine? What happened? Um, it was a RPM issue. It, we weren't getting. It wasn't going over like fifteen hundred RPMs, and the other engine would. Yeah. So we were having to kind of like. Dude, we were it was bad. Going we weren't circle. gonna we weren't gonna get in to like seven thirty p. Jeez. Um what'd y'all do? Well, 
We this turn, Bill's boat? We turned it off. Was it no, Bill? No, it wasn't Jersey Bill. Yeah, I was about to say. Bill's that off. sounds like something happened to Bill's Bill. Bill's got a smaller boat for bay fishing. Uh, this uh, this guy is named... Um, I'll, I'll, I'll remember it. Matthias or something? Uh, Weathers. His last name's yeah, Weathers. Checks out. Um, very nice boat. We have to weather Extremely that Extremely nice boat. Except for the engine problem. This is what happens in Mexico Beach. You ready for this? I'm ready. Literally, the engine goes bad yeah. on his boat. By the time we get back to his home, he has purchased $90,000 for two motors. He's bought two new motors. He bought two new motors. He didn't get it repaired. You get some Volvos? What no, he got? said, he said, no, he just said, I'll sell them. You can get, wait, nice. don't even worry about repairing them. But the, the guy's a, like multi, multi, multi millionaire. So it doesn't matter. What was him, that last word? You said? Made you, made you, made you, <laughs> that kind. <laughs> That was Josh Bosch. You just pick a different kind of money. You <laughs> different kind of money. Wait, it's an IY. It's all crypto. I'm a billionaire. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I did a quick. That's awesome, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's just that's just uh, rainy that's, day that's, fun. Yeah. All right, so that <laughs> that those were those were somewhat good. You know. Yeah. Clever, whatever. On the way back, yeah. we're pulling out of Mexico Beach. Uh-huh. I see this old lady on. A bike. And I was like, huh, it's pretty good. Like we're talking like eighty. Yeah. Like not not someone you typically see on uh, on, two a bike. We- on two wheels. Yeah. Good on you. Yeah, sure. Great. Now it was an electric bike, which I also was sitting there but you know what? She's just trying to get a oh, little I, exercise. Oh, I I rode one of those recently. They're My, great. So much fun. You go like thirty. Yes. You can go fast. Real fast. Right. Don't drink whiskey. No. You know, you can get DUI you get real fast. Real bad. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, do you know you were speeding? Zero yeah. chance I was. <laughs> Literally five miles per hour over. over on yeah. a good day. Yeah, but you were all over the road. That's because I'm an adult riding a bicycle. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, anyway, so this old woman's coming up, and she, I can tell it's an electric bike. She gets all the way up to, like, right here in my view, and she's burning a cigarette. While she, like, she's just, you she's instant, doing this. You instantly fell in love. <laughs> You've never been more attracted to a human being. It was unbelievable. Yeah. It was truly unbelievable. It was like, you know what? Good on you. You're making it to 80 and you're burning them down like that yeah. while you're exercising. Well, Because you know if she's, if she's the doing that. on exercising. <laughs> okay. It's well, an electric bike. She's riding. <laughs> she's doing <laughs> outdoor activities. And sure. Like, she's uh, breathing uh, natural air. Dude, what if she had oxygen? That'd be amazing. If I'd have seen an oxygen tank on her back, while which smoking, my aunt used to do right. that. She was on oxygen and she's still smoked. Like yeah. right there. I was like, that's flammable. So and that's how you blow up your home. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. Not- my grandparents always had the big old sign, no smoking because of said uh, potential for combustion. Right. Like you couldn't smoke in their house anymore. Anymore? Well, I mean, they smoked in it when before they were on oxygen. That's why they're on oxygen. You're just the next level to smoke inside your house. <sighs> Grew up, my grandparents. I know. Were Oldie, both of them sitting in the in the uh, recliners, just burning them down. It's it, all day, every day. We'd go back home and it have to air out our clothing for weeks. Oh yeah, yeah. Like you'd have to be. I'd probably say the age of sixty five and up. Probably some of them still smoke in their home. Currently, yeah, not a ton of people do. I don't think, unless they switch to vape. Well, that's different. That's vaping in your home, right? It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. People vape indoors. Right, that's different. Right, hundred percent is different. You're not lighting a fire. Right. I don't know a ton. Of, I mean, I don't know a ton of people that open fire. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, Jersey Bill probably does. Jersey Bill. What did you pour us? Oh, this is uh, from Kim Schwartz, Kim and Mark. This is Iron Root Harbinger Total Wine Pick, 124.2. I have not had this. I had it on a town hall, a uh, virtual bar night that you weren't a part of. Mm. Um, it's a Texas whiskey, so you got to you gotta go into it with that concept. Is it, is it higher malt? No, it's higher Texas. It's got cherry in it. That's what I'm just... Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's higher malt. Iron, Iron Root... Herbin. Like why does it? Why do I? Herbin why do I have to say Iron Root weird? Because you say a lot of things weird, man. Iron Did you hear root. the way you said millionaire a minute ago? Millionaire. Yeah, right. <laughs> Iron Root. 
I don't mind, eh? They have been here. You just tried that, man. Oh, we all, it was just Beaker in it right now? Yeah, not Beaker. Beep, 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 beep. That's Beaker. We're the name, 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 name. <laughs> We're just an old man. Josh Boshin. <laughs> Is that not Josh? Joe the Bear. What you day? Hey. Purchase. If anybody wants to know, if anybody, I should do a live on our Patreon and be like, I'm going to teach you Josh Bosch. Or you should do it as like a reel or something, or like a short. Oh, yeah. I do a series of Josh Bosch Or, or it could just be like, one word. Grease went to the liquor store and bought four roses. That's the text on there. Yeah. The and then text. it cuts to me like, Grease went to the store and bought four right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or it could be like those uh, translation videos like, today we are going to learn the word harbinger. It's that French guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Harbinger. The Same. word that means Binger of heart. Today we are going to hear a slang word for the restaurant Zaxby's. In Josh Bosch, it is, is pronounced Zatchel's. Yeah. Is that what is uh, Zaxby's in extreme Josh Bosch? Does I? Does I? Does that say? You can say the Zach A too. Oh uh, yeah. Depending on if you're East Coast or West Coast. Well it right? depend well, honestly it depends on is it singular or plural. Oh. How many Zaxby's does it take to make it plural? More than three. <laughs> <laughs> Two Zaxby's still just one to singular. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, in front. Oh, man. I was supposed to say two. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> no, that's a couple. Two is plural and singular are different than a couple. A couple is oh, two. I was but- thinking like a couple or a few. All right. Because few is three I or more. I understand. I understand what you, what you said wrong. As I typically do. All right. So, any other uh, fun? You said you went. You got some whiskey. Yeah, I did. You know, I didn't go hunting. Yeah. I just forgot all my whiskey at my house, and so I did saunter to a couple of, well, actually, three places. Okay. Um, I didn't go hunting. I just went to multiple liquor stores looking for whiskey. Okay, that's fair. Two of them. It was just a plus. Like you could tell. Like the things that they had behind the counter was was just kind of dumb. Like. Kentucky Owl, the Shamrock one, or the red one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like those up there. And the, they have that Kentucky Owl Mardi Gras one. It was a bullet bourbon behind the bar, oh. behind the counter. I was thrown off. Um, <laughs> that so, so Four Roses, small batch select. Yeah. Everywhere down there. Great pour. Um, something that I found out was everywhere down there, and I finally picked up a bottle of this, because obviously, but it was Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Single Barrels. Nice. And so there's, a there's, I mean, I probably saw 80 in three stores. Yeah. If I had to guess. Not store picks, but just- Not like store picks, yeah. no. And I don't, I don't even know if a lot of people down here are drinking, or down there, are drinking Jack Barrel Proof right. whiskey or yeah. bourbon. I just don't know. Yeah. I, I've never seen anybody go in there. Um, well, why I was there, I never saw anybody go over there and be like, well, I'm going to get a Jack Daniels barrel proof. Right. Um, but I did, uh, dude, it was like 60 bucks. Great. And then they, uh, in another store, they had a baby Saz behind the counter. And I was like, you know what? Like I got a barrel proof bourbon. It would be nice to have a lower proof rye. Right. You know what I mean? Just if I wanted to change it up completely. So I was like, oh, man, I, I knew I shouldn't ask the question. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it, it's behind the counter. So you got any bland? It's also the place that I went to like several years ago, and and I asked about. I mean, I think it was maybe like Four Roses Limited Edition or something like that. And she goes, "Oh, honey, that's allocated." And I was like, "Okay, like, does anybody know what that word means?" Right. You know what I mean? Like, it's just it's so suspect. Anyway, she um. She was not there this time, but I asked, I was like, and she grabbed the bottle, the woman did, and rang it up, and she said, $34.99, and I was like, I'll take that. Mm-hmm. No problem. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Good deal. So that that was a, a little whiskey. That was down in Florida. Let's see. That one was, uh, that was in Mexico Beach. It was, it, um, it's kind of in the back. It's kind of off the beaten path. Kind of there's a market back there where you can get like bold peanuts and grow a little bit of groceries and stuff. Yeah, like that. it's really cool. Um, then I left those bottles there to and, return to and went to family reunion. And on the way, 
I snagged us three from my cousin, three of the um, Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rice. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. the normal, like the latest release. Right. The normal offering that they have. Um, yeah, down in um, Cornelia, Georgia, um, they've got some stuff over there. And they, uh, I think Helen Seller down in Helen had some. Um, Helen Seller. Unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Clever guy. Yeah. He's a nice guy. Yeah, I mean, well, okay, yeah, that's not. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you want to. Yeah, I almost. I Helen almost, Keller is. I almost went a fantastic like, yeah, human. It's not, yeah. dude. How did she? How did she communicate? How did she learn to communicate? She's blind and deaf. It right. still blows my mind. I mean, if you want to go down a rabbit hole on YouTube, which I don't suggest anyone should, then there's a lot of people that say it's a conspiracy theory. I. Her diary? Um, what? Oh, that's Anne Frank. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> You're out of control. You can cut that out. I'm f- terrible. You're a bad person. <laughs> you got to cut that out? I don't know. That's bad I mean, part. it's just a, it was an honest mistake. Yeah, right, right, yeah. I mean, it was honest. Oh. Uh... <laughs> So you went to, what did you get? It? You got the Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye at uh, Helen Cellar. And who, what? Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Wait, you, no, you that described, was who I, yeah, no, you described was, her spot on, and then you're having to Google yes, I, to make sure that you understood who you were talking about? Yes, I sure I sure did. I needed to make sure that I was thinking about the right person. Yeah, all right. Well, because I threw the other name out there. So how was the uh, the family reunion? The reunion was lit. Uh, it started off with the, with the... I mean, it was on fire. Oh, right. Literally, yeah, I did see that. Uh, it was on fire. Yeah, your uh, we your had this un- big uncle. What's his name? Oh, his name is is Blake Senior, and Blake Senior lit the barbecue on fire. Blake, oh, and you, dude, you should have heard him just say, "Man, like, do you know how to grill?" And I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, eh, "You don't know how to grill like I don't know how to grill." He had like one of those like long propane tank smokers. Like the no, long, it's not a propane like, tank. I know, but you know what I mean. Like the long, the big bank ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, the, every bank has one. <laughs> yes, you yeah, know yeah. they're they're throwing hot dogs for, at everybody every now and then <laughs> for the uh, for the parking lot smoking. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how you do it. Hey, we got uh, we got a bonus uh, extra quarter percent on the CDs this Friday. We're going to have hot dogs. I did have somebody in Haversham tell me, like, you got to lock your cars when you go to church in the grocery store these days. <laughs> and I was like, jam? seriously, really? And she goes, we're swimming in squash down here. They're go- they'll are they put squash in your car. <laughs> what? That's what they said. I swear <laughs> on my life. I s- you got to lock your car because you'll put squash. They'll put squash in it. <laughs> yeah. And then after that, there was this beehive or whatever. And we saw that the bees or whatever. And the, the woman looks at me just very seriously because I was sitting there just asking a bunch of questions and I don't know if she knew the answers or not, but she just looked at me and she goes, they just showed up. Like the bees just showed up and I was like, but there's a beehive and everything. Like, what do you mean they just showed up? Bugs. Anyway, (laughs) it was very funny to me at the moment. Then they explained that literally like those, you know how the bees will just get in one location and protect the queen. Yeah. You'll walk by and see like a... In their hive? Well, no, it's the mailbox. Like, they're out of their hive. Oh, they're migrating. They're migrating. Yeah, they followed the queen and they're protecting her or whatever, and you're supposed to call the authorities and let them, because they need to save the bees. Bees are in trouble. Bees are in trouble. Yeah. It's, it's pretty rough. Yeah. Um, it was rough. <laughs> people though. putting squash in people's cars? 100% they do. Why? A hundred. I don't Why know. Why are they swimming in but squash? But they were dead serious. They were literally dead serious. Yeah. People were just putting squash in people's cars. It's incredible. That was like uh, my, I'm not going to reveal the identity, but someone I know closely, maybe or may not be a family member, uh, there was like a hole across the across the news in Jackson, Mississippi a few years back. There was someone leaving b- bowls of mashed potatoes on people's driver's side, like the hood of their car uh-huh. around the university that this person may or may not have gone to. <laughs> And it like made the news because he was just going. Wait, what was that guy that we knew? What was that's he, what I'm talking about? That's that guy. That wait, what are you talking? The person that was leaving the mashed potatoes? Yes, and he like made the new like 
and all that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I was just trying to remit like that was a long time ago. Didn't we interview him? <laughs> no, Potluck did. Oh, Had him on Potluck. Right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's but with right. the voice disguise. Um may or may not be related to my wife. Who's to say? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, it was um It's it. I mean, that's the quirkiest. <laughs> still it's so funny. Yeah, it was but that just would have reminded me of well with the squash. If you look up mashed potatoes, Jackson, Mississippi, you'll find uh, news articles about it. Oh yeah, that's what you need to do. Yeah. You know, are you pulling out fireball just for the heck of it? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm not drinking that. I thought it was barrel proof rye. It's not. What barrel proof rye? Oh. What's that? Where's that come from? Will it 18 year? Mm-hmm. Will it pump? <laughs> Where'd that come Should from? Should we do it? Yeah, let's drink we that. Just pump it live? No, let's not pump it. Let's drink it. Oh, I thought we were going to pump it. No, we've done that before with Will it. Really? Yeah, with a 19 year. Remember? <sighs> okay. All right, what? Uh, where'd this come from? I have no idea. I think it's Josh Boyer, which it, which in that case, it's actually ours that, that he walked off with. Oh, did he mean for th- then we have actually pumped this one? Did he mean to leave it here or was he trying to take a sample? No, no, no. I gave him the I gave him the the end of the bottle. There was like three ounces in it. Right. I gave him the bottle. He took it. And what happens at a nook party me, after Will leaves? Please. Well, he sent me a two ounce he sent me two ounces of it so that we could still utilize it. Well, we're gonna drink it again. Well, thanks, JB. Um, so you got any other fun things? Tell us about hail. Mm. Okay, thank you. The The family reunion was great. A lot of characters involved. But at the end of the debauchery weekend, okay. What was that? There is a memorial service. So the weekend of family reunion is just like debaucherous? Well, I mean, there's a lot of drinking involved. Okay. there's. A, I mean. Does Mama Grease get in trouble? Not this year. Well, that's good. Last year it was suspect. Uh oh. Uh huh. And she she vowed to me that she would never do that again. What does she do? I can't tell you on there. Oh my gosh! I can't wait. Huh? Maybe we'll release the patrons. <laughs> I can't wait to find out. I'm just, just because make a she's in, she, but just because she is a patron. Also, she'll watch this. She knows if you tell it live, she'll get a little pissed. We're gonna get a text regardless. I, I am not going into who this person is. I'm only going to say what happened. This year or with Mama Grease? This year. Okay. Not with Mama Grease. That's another day in time. I'll let her tell you. It's in 35 minutes. Um, Already? No, I said in 35 minutes. I'm oh, no, find no. Out. Yeah. I was like, crap, I've taken up 35 minutes? No, um, but just shy of that. Okay, so there's, there's this memorial service on Sunday at the end of the weekend, and it goes to remember those relatives that have passed away, not just in the past year, but you know, I was about to say, if you every year have a deck full of them, well, it all started with my papa that lived to be 101 and started smoking when he was eight. That's the top. It's a good run. Him and Mary Kate up there. Mary Kate, I feel like, didn't have as good of a run. Kate Ogden or something, I don't know, something like that. From them down, that's who we remember. And it's only at this point, there's only four generations. So it's not that. It's not that bad. Anyway, I read the names this year of all the people, you know, that have moved on. Yeah. And it was really sweet. I really enjoyed it. Here's the best part about it. Then there was a message. (laughs) Agrees family reunion is that when he's the one they entrust to do the sacred duty of reading the names, you know you got some care. Dude, there's 120 people at this reunion. Dude, each family has like, you're, you're in charge of kids game this year. You're in charge of dinner plans this year. Yeah. You're in charge of entertainment for Saturday night this year. So it's all the thing. We you were in charge of the, the service. Departed. Yeah. We were in charge. I'm hiccuping and burping. Yeah. It's a whiskey. We talk. were in charge of the service. So anyway, said person got up there mm-hmm. and we're talking up, you know, 80 kids, like so many kids, not eight. Y'all, y'all procreate. But there's 40 There's forty kids at least in this room because not everybody comes. Half 80. And this is what happened in the middle of the service. I'm just going to, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do it how it happened. I want to hear it. And y'all tell me if this is <laughs> not appropriate, but anyway, here's what happened. Sunday service. Kids. Kids. Hey, children, listen to me. Listen to me. If you hear one 
thing today. When you die, you will go to heaven because you don't understand it right now. <laughs> Looked at my wife with our kids and I said, <laughs> and she's like already ahead of you. <laughs> I mean, y'all left. My kids, I stayed in there. Oh, okay. It's not offensive to me. <laughs> I don't agree with it, but that's it not offensive to me. Wasn't offensive to them. They got a free ticket. Well, I mean, I guess I do. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how, <laughs> I, more I, don't know how I feel on that subject. All I know is that my kids <laughs> were told to listen. If you hear one thing I'm telling you, when you die. <laughs> Did he give a cutoff age though? He'd be like, hey, but Jimmy over there. Yeah, that's what I. That's you're what, 13 and a half. 100%. You're screwed, but it's so it's not. It's not even. Uh, you you can't even begin to be objective or subjective in that regard. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a weird in between. It's like I don't even know. Yeah. Anyway, not the authority person to be able to tell somebody that. Sure. That's said me. said aunt. Or that's uncle. number two. But the first one, you know, whatever. Now here's the deal. I love that uncle. I I love him. I think he meant well. He I this is he, just Habersham reunion. One hundred percent. It just it was a very uh, unfortunate misstep in 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 knowing your audience. I also love the fact that I like, do a better job making, than that. You're making all forty kids sit around and listen about all the other folks that died. <laughs> okay. The context of the ceremony is we gotta remember everybody's passed on. Well, you, all you kids listen, and y- half y'all. You got to soften the language. Yeah. You're like, we are here to remember our loved ones that are no longer here, you know, or no longer with us. You're talking about softening language. It's, you got to soften it. language. Dude, you got to. Dude, kids will do that. That too. sounds like a highlight of the trip. Kids will How do How many that. other kids were removed from the presence of the, of the fire and brimstone? Let me go ahead and tell you what people don't care about. Yeah. They don't care about when somebody tells your kids, hey, when you die, you're going to go to heaven. Right. You know what I mean? They're like, hell yeah, they will. <laughs> right. No, but you got your kids out. Anyone else leave? Well, yeah, because I'm, you know. Because you're like, no, kids, you're going to hell. Lauren and I pay attention. <laughs> like, all you have to do is pay attention. Most of them were on their phones. <laughs> they, they, Everybody's on their phones. Oh, uh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that's Dude, solid. Um, I'm pretty sure somebody had a beer at 930 in the morning. Why wouldn't you? Right. Well, it's called Hair of the Dog. It's the only reason they were there. Anyway, that's my trip. We got back. Um, and your and your puppy had puppies. My puppy had puppies. Yeah. 11 of them. Yeah. And they are really pretty looking. They have yeah. really unique coloring. That's all I got. How many How many she got to pump out? Another batch? Oh, yeah. Have one we, more at batch? Least, at least one more, depending on her age at the th- time of the You third. don't want her to get breast cancer. No. That's a thing. The more puppies they go through... They'll have they, a higher chance of breast cancer in dogs. Well, I don't want to talk about that. Oh, I'm so sorry. How long does it take to mestize? Or Meta- I don't know. I'm not a uh, a canine oncologist. Huh. What's an oncologist? Cancer doctor. Oh, okay. I knew yeah. that. Yeah. My you let, you Actually, my wife's a nurse. I don't pay attention to that kind of stuff, and she just tells me. Surprise, surprise. All right, so we went on our... Uh, you got any other things? No, no, no. My, let's move on. Let's yeah, move, it was, it was my too much. Trip. I do have other stories, but Patreon, we'll they're longer. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we went and we went down to uh, Puerto Rico. First time I've been to Puerto Rico uh, because we had direct flights from here. Mm-hmm. Great, quick trip. Um, great. <laughs> stayed, stayed at a great hotel. Uh, had great food. Some of the best food. Um there, I mean, you said there was a top five. There were two two dishes that were like top five. <laughs> One was this. It was this uh, restaurant called Santa Ella, and we went there. It was, my cousin recommended it. it was really good, and we were there for a couple hours. It's great, and the I had some really good cocktails. A lot of rum cocktails. I love a dinner that takes like two two to three hours. And we you know it's um, I had there. I had like a whole fried red snapper. It was fantastic but they had this salad that was peeled cherry tomatoes with balsamic and in the middle was uh parmesan ice cream like literally they made ice cream out of like parmesan cheese and it was unbelievably good it was you cannot describe how good this tasted (laughs) 
Yeah. Parmesan tastes like feet. You taste like feet. Well, your feet do. Don't ask how I know that. Then, uh, so that was great. But then we, uh, on the last night, we went to this place called Celeste, and it was incredible. It was only like 20 people. Dated a girl named Celeste. <laughs> that Woo! also checks out. Uh, you better tip her. There's only like 20 seats in the place, and the... Uh, they they it was only only had wine and they came over and the guy was like here's what I picked up today like here are the options of wine I have so it was like very cool very intimate like you're talking with the people and they're really proud of what they're doing and one we had these scallops that were cooked in shrimp head butter and it was I love shrimp head it was one of the best things heads, I've ever had in my heads. life. I don't get what you're saying. Butter. But it was like butter that had been like, they'd reduced down the in shrimp heads. Oh, we get it. It was we so it. daggum good. I bet it was. So that place was great. So we had great food. Had drink a we kind of had prawns. something a little bit like that over at Owens one time. Those prawns? Those were those were shrimp. Yeah. Those were prawns. Those were great. Yeah. Um, is there a difference between shrimp and prawns? A shrimp is a prawn. Right. Like tiger prawns or something. Big. Oh, okay. So it's like all bourbon is whiskey, but not all whiskey is bourbon. Probably pretty close. Oh, huh. yeah. I don't know if I I can't be a hundred percent fact checking on that. Um, like I don't know if that there are prawns that aren't shrimp. Like I know the whiskey part, right? Is right, but I can't be so certain about the prawns and the shrimp situation. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get super pissed. Anyhow, I'm gonna hashtag, food was great. I'm gonna hashtag shrimp on this. Yeah, see if we can pull in some all you can eat shrimpers out there for Red Lobster. Yeah. and I, I want to hear their take on that. We went to some some great bars, had a good time. We went to this place, La Factoria, which is like a um, like an old bar in the middle of Old San Juan, and it like. It's in Old San Juan, so it's like very touristy. Like there's a lot of people around, but it like got rated by like Travel and Leisure as one of the top fifty bars in the world. And it was it was a lot of fun. Had really good cocktails there. And what was kind of their go? Like, did they have like a signature that they're known for? Well, I had a, a Papa Doble, which is like their take off the classic Hemingway daiquiri, which has like grapefruit, but they did like clarified grapefruit juice in it. It was what's, really what's good. the difference in that? Uh, I don't know, but probably just the process to make it stabilize. Like, you remember when Owen made that clarified milk punch? Yes. So I think it probably was a similar process where they, like, get the proteins and flavor out of it, but kept kept it from going bad. Dude, like, milk punch? I was not expecting that to be So good. At, um, all. at all. They had that and had a couple other cocktails. It was, I mean, it was really fun. There was like a live salsa band, and there's five bars within this building. So you go into the front room, and it's like the front bar, and then you have to go behind the bar, like through a door, like actually go behind. Like, mm-hmm. we're like, where are the other five bars supposed to be? It's almost borderline like a speakeasy. Like, like I don't think I'm supposed to go back there, but you do, and then you go on, and there's more bars. That's cool. Yeah. So it, that are was the really other fun. four like easier to get to? Yeah, then they're kind of like all in this space. Oh, okay. Like, but got once it, you go it, back it. there and there's like a the band was playing, it was live. It music. used to be a front. Pro- uh, had to have been. Had yeah. to have been. So it was, but it's like kind of an old rustic, you know, Caribbean building and it felt really cool. Um, well, that checks out. And then I went. Um, Puerto Rico's old and in the Caribbean. Spent a lot of time drinking mojitos by the pool. And there's like an infinity pool, like the, the works, like a bunch of, it was great. Uh, no kids had, no, a, just had relaxing. a beach view, uh, uh, with a balcony suite. Like it was fantastic. Um, but we then also, I went out with a tarpon guide, uh, fly fishing and yeah. Did you get a tarpon? I hooked into two and fought two, but they both got off. So oh. I, didn't, I didn't land one. So how long did you fight one? Um, did you get a the, good fighter to pop out early? The the first one was quick. It was like under a minute. Like it was one jump. The first jump, I lost it. Mm-hmm. The second one was several minutes of fighting and fought through three jumps. But then on the fourth, he got the fly free. <laughs> but it was uh, Dude, the guide service was awesome. Fun. It was guide service was awesome. It was just me and the guide. I was out there for four hours. I got there. We left at six thirty, um, and we were just going back in the mangroves. And this guy knew where to find them. And it's like six forty in the morning. You're seeing tarpon just rolling in in massive fish, and. 
the two I hooked into were, I mean, they were on the younger side, so they were they were still probably would have been the biggest fish I'd ever caught. But um, yeah, but then uh, missed a couple uh, strikes. I probably had five strikes. Uh, hooked into two, fought two, and didn't didn't land either of them. But definitely will go back. Was a blast. Super, just a rush because yeah. they hit it, and it's oh, also yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. fly rod too. So it's like the whole thing. So like for me, I'm like, okay, I accomplished casting two, well, them, it was, getting it was, strikes and and getting hooked. Like I'm ninety percent accomplished what I wanted to do. I'll go back now. I've got something to to aim for to land one. But there was well, one, you had saltwater tackle. Like even your yeah. fly rod and stuff. Yeah, it was a heavier weight yeah. fly rod and and tarpon flies, but it's still, but it's still, it's it's a whole process. Oh, 100 percent. And the um, well, your lines lines heavier, so you're probably and you're casting to them. Yeah, and and uh, the there was one strike that I didn't set that the it was probably a 70 pound tarpon because we saw it come up and hit the fly, and the guide and I both. We're like, holy crap. When it hit it, and I, I tried to set, and it's a strip set. Like It's it's different than like trout fishing where you yeah. like raise it. And so I tried to strip set and just didn't get it. And But we both saw it during the service, and we both looked at each other, and he goes, that one was a big he goes, one. That was a big tarpon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that, ah! was a, that was a big tarpon. Yeah. So it was Dude, fun. When though. your captain says that, you're like, yeah. Let's yeah. And I'm like, I mean, we saw it, but then there, uh, it was fun. Like he'd see the birds. He's like, all right, pull up now. We got to get over there. And we run and we get over there. And oh, there'd yeah. Be a like feeding fly, frenzy, just fish. going insane. Did you see any flying fish? Mm -mm. That, no. I mean, tarpon will freaking. So, but it was, yeah. it was a blast. I'd, I'd go do it again uh, in a heartbeat. I, I will go do that again. In a heartbeat in in Puerto Rico because it's yeah. it's actually not a heavily fished. Tarpon how how much was that charter tour? Um, with like just the four hours with just me was like three fifty plus tax. That is and cheap then I as sin. Oh yeah, hundred percent cheap. You go to a Caribbean, that's a th over a thousand. Yeah, I mean, well, that's your gas. Yeah, that's your tackle. Your twenty five dollar fuel charge. Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. I mean, it, so it about four hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, with fees. No, that's and, great, and everything four hundred bucks, and then I tipped him really well. Dude, there, there, I, if, for the thousand twelve hundred people, you know, or sorry, thousand twelve hundred dollars for like a three person charter, easy. Yeah, so, so it it was a blast. I loved it, um, and we'll definitely do it again. So yeah. then I got back, and Samantha was just waking up, and we went and got breakfast and started drinking. So <laughs> it was great. Yep, and Absolutely. then sun, and then. Tuesday, you came back. And just had a long travel day because um, airline travel sucks these days. Right. And it's just like delays and people being dumb. But yeah, just you came know back what, Tuesday. You know what got that virus? The planes. No. Oh. Technology. Oh, yeah. Got a virus. <laughs> well, that was fun. I actually did. I don't think I, I did have one cocktail that had uh, whiskey in it. It was kind of like a take on a Manhattan. Oh, what did I have? I had a mango margarita at this place that honestly, it was their signature and it was fabulous. Yeah. It wasn't over mango. It was more pineapple orangey almost, but with just a little sweetness there of the mango. But um, that, that was fabulous. The hotel bar. I got the worst old fashioned ever. Maybe worse than uh, Longhorn. Where was that? Uh, that was at a restaurant in Athens, Georgia. Checks out. Mm -hmm. Not a good drinking town, that mm -mm. Athens, Georgia. Mm -mm. <laughs> Said no. It's just ever. garbage. Um, there, I did the hotel bar. So the hotel we stayed in was called the Condado Vanderbilt. It was like a old world, pink marble in the lobby, grand staircase, beautiful. The lobby bar was like leather and every they had a, like a cigar lounge you could go to but it overlooked the sea and it was just incredible they're like the bartenders in like white shirts and vests like very old school and they had a rum list that was incredible basically every four square released oh heck yeah yeah and, and like like 25 bucks for a pour of the ones that are like 180 dollars. i think so, i have premise here and one more they had uh Sebelah. Oh, Sebelah. Yeah, yeah, all those. Yeah, all of them. So it was. Bota, bota, <laughs> um, yeah, so it was a great trip. Had a good time. Glad to be back, though. Yeah, it was. It was. It was great. I. I. I was bummed to miss 
you know, our community and, you know, going live and but we here. doing stuff. We are here. It was really great coming back that Tuesday that you were traveling back. We did do a town hall and yeah. it was awesome. It was, a, it was a lot of fun. So where can people find out about town hall? Patreon.com slash the pod cask. C-A-S-K. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is a double entendre and a pun. It's not a double entendre. And an onomatopoeia. A couple in your does. Oh. All right, folks. Thank you so much for joining us. We had a blast here tonight. Thanks for listening to our lives. Patreon.com slash the podcast. Hey, rate and review us on iTunes or wherever you get your podcast if you're listening to that. These guys don't talk about whiskey. (laughs) We definitely did not. It's today. a trip report. Yeah, we're, trip we're, report. We had fun. We're drinking tonight. I'm drinking ten percent whiskey. I'm drinking eighteen year old Willet. I want that. So uh, thanks for joining us. We appreciate you all, and we don't know Jack, but we'll drink it. Cheers, boys.